Hello everybody, welcome back to Reading for Vocabulary. I'm Brian Stewart. Well, we're finishing up our unit about imaginary characters. And the lesson title is, Along Came a Mouse. What famous mouse do you know about? Well, in this lesson, let's learn about the creator of Mickey Mouse. That's the mouse. Along came a mouse. We're talking about Mickey Mouse. Of course, you know Mickey Mouse, right? Donald Duck, quack, 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 and Goofy. But think about who created them. Who was the creator? Who thought first about these characters? Well, that person was this man here, Walt Disney. That's his name. Did you know Disney is a name? It's not a place. Well, it is a place, but it's named after the creator, the person who created these characters. His name is Walt Disney. It looks like a very old picture, doesn't it? Because Walt Disney lived a long time ago, right? Mickey Mouse, his most famous character, is very old, actually. Okay, but now we know about Walt Disney movies, uh, Disneyland in California, Disney World in Florida. Walt Disney is very famous now, but he was a man who lived a long time ago. Okay, let's start with our vocabulary list. Who is this guy? Do you know him? That's, of course, Mr. Bean. You, know, you may know Mr. Bean. He's a comedian. He makes very funny or strange movies, right? It's Mr. Bean, a person or animal in a book or movie. Of course, Mr. Bean has been in many movies. What do we call that person? We call that person a character. That's a Himduro word. Character. Character. A character. A character, of course, is any person or animal or really any a uh, thing that, that has a part in a book or a movie. There are many characters in books. There are many characters in movies. Of course, some characters are more unique or special or we remember them more easily. Uh, those are special characters. By the way, also if your friends or somebody you know acts in a way that's very special uh, and people remember that person and they act in a, a different way than people like laugh or they like it, you can say he's a character or she's a character, right? So it's like a character in a book. Mr. Bean, everybody knows him. He's a real character, right? He's a character, but he's also a character in a book or a movie. Okay, there are many characters. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Bean. We won't see him again, right? Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Number two, a picture made with a pen or pencil. A picture that somebody makes with a pen or pencil, we call it a drawing. Because basically, to draw is a verb. To draw. Can you draw? If you draw well, you can make a drawing. Okay, next one. Aha, you like this type of book, right? Can teddy bear read? <laughs> Maybe. But you probably like this type of book. This is a drawing that tells a story or many drawings in a series that tell a story. It can be one drawing, right? Or usually in a book, it's many drawings that are connected and they tell a story. We have a special name for this. We call it a cartoon. This is a cartoon, especially if in the newspaper we say, let's look at the cartoons. Cartoons are also movies that are made by drawings. Drawings that move very fast, it looks like the drawings are moving, we call those cartoons. When I was young, my brother and I would watch cartoons on Saturday morning. Saturday morning television, we watch cartoons. By the way, there's another word. It's called comic. Now, comic or the comics, right? Comic or comics. This is a comic book, a comic book. Also, you can say comics. I like comics. So comic, cartoon, very similar words, okay? Next one. Ah, they're playing soccer or 
football, depending where you are, a natural skill at doing something well. So if this boy is very good at playing soccer, he has talent. He has talent. Do you have talent? Of course you do. You're good at doing something, I'm sure. Maybe you're good at playing a musical instrument. Maybe you're good at playing the piano. Maybe you're good at telling stories. Maybe you're good at speaking other languages. If you're good at something, if you have a natural skill at doing something well, you have talent. What is your talent? Right? Try many different things. Find your talent. Find out what is your natural skill at doing something. Everybody has talent at doing something well. Okay. This one is the name of something. This is a book called Sleeping Beauty. What's the name? The name is the title. We can say, what is the title of the book? Now when we say something, we usually mean book or movie. Not just anything, like if uh, you, you have a bicycle, the name of your bicycle is bicycle. It's not the title, right? So the name of something, we're usually talking about a book or a movie or some other work that is imaginary. It's, it's an imaginary story or it could be a real story, but it's the title. The title of a book, the title of a play, the title of a movie, the title of a comic book. It's the title of something, the name of something, okay? Next one. A good result. He's very happy. He had a good result. He had success. Success. Maybe it's a little difficult to pronounce. Success. Hopefully you will have success in your life. You will have a good result. Of course, the opposite of a good result is a bad result. The opposite, pandero, of success is failure. But don't worry. Even if you have a failure, those will teach you how to next time get success. So everybody has failures and success, but use your failure to teach you how to get success. Without failure, we don't understand success, right? Failure teaches us how to get success. So these are pandero, success and failure. But we'll have failures in our lives, but we'll also have successes. We can use both of them. Okay, next one. Oh, there's Mr. Bean again. He came back. It's not Johnny Depp, right? It's Mr. Bean. Okay, funny things. Mr. Bean does a lot of funny things, right? He, we said he's in movies. He's in, he uses humor in his movies. Sometimes Mr. Bean doesn't speak. He just acts, and it's funny. Humor, of course, is funny. Funny means you laugh at it. <laughs> that's funny. It's funny or that's funny. Mr. Bean is funny, okay? He uses humor to make us laugh. So he's funny, okay? It's not Johnny Depp here. Looks like Johnny Depp, but it's Mr. Bean. Okay, next one. To make someone pleased. To make someone pleased. Pleased also means happy to entertain. We just saw Mr. Bean, right? He uses humor to make us laugh. He entertains us. So to make someone happy, to make someone pleased is to entertain. Entertain. To entertain is to make people happy. What do movie actors and actresses do? They make us happy. They entertain us. What do musicians do? We hear their music. Ah, oh, it's good music. They make us happy. They please us. They entertain us. What do sports stars do? We watch them play a game. Wow, good shot. We're happy. They entertain us. There are so many ways to entertain people, right? Movies, uh, music, music, sports. There's many different ways to entertain people to make us happy. Okay, next one. What are these people doing? These are musicians, right? Uh, they're in a room where artists work. Remember, artist is anybody who's creative. In this case, musicians 
are artists. In this room, they have many microphones. They're recording their song. What is this room? It's a studio, a studio. But artists who paint also work in a studio. It's their workplace. They call it a studio. There's different kinds of studios, especially where, you know, we make music or we record or we give television lectures, <laughs> right? Video lectures. This is a studio. But studios can also be no cameras, no microphones, just a place where a painter paints or a sculptor makes a statue. Those are also called studios. Studio is a room where an artist works. Okay, next one. Happy birthday, right? Uh, congratulations, right? Happy birthday. Very pleasing, we say delightful. When it's your birthday and you have a birthday party, it is delightful. Very pleasing, you're very happy. Delightful. Okay, this is our next word here, number 11. Now, first, let's look at the picture first. What is this? This is called a seat belt. It's one word, seat belt. Now, why is this a picture of a seat belt? Well, the definition is here, coming before all other things. So think about it. When you get in a car, what do you do before all other things? Before you do anything else, what should you do first? What should I do first? Before you do anything else, what should you do first? You should fasten your seat belt. Fasten your seat belt. That's the first thing you should do when you get in a car. So the first thing you do, fasten your seat belt. That's first. There's another good expression with first about this. Sometimes we say, this, when we want to make sure that you are safe. Safety first. It's a common saying in English. Safety first. That means think about safety before you do anything else. Make sure you're safe. In Korean, you say, Anjong Jail, right? Safety first. That's how you would say, Anjong Jail in English, safety first. Safety is most important. So make sure you're safe first before you do anything else. Make sure you are safe. Okay, next one. Oh, there's Mr. Bean again. He doesn't go away. He keeps coming back. I'm getting nervous. Okay, what's he doing? That's very strange. I, oh, I can't do that. Oh, oh, him to He's very flexible, right? What is he doing? The act of moving your foot to walk. So, of course, you don't do this, right? You don't step like this, right? But when you walk, you make a step. One step, two step, and you walk like that. Don't walk like this. Oh, no, Ah, oh, right? <laughs> Be careful. But of course, it's humorous, right? He's using humor to entertain us, okay? So what is he doing? The act of moving your foot to walk is to step, okay? Well, can you do that? Okay, don't do that. Stretch first. Safety first, right? Be careful. Okay, next one. 13, the sound you make to speak. Now, what am I doing right now? I'm making a sound to speak. So, I'm using my voice. My voice is coming from here. It's coming out of my mouth. The sound I make when I speak, the sound of my voice. You can hear the sound of my voice. When you speak, I can hear your voice. Oh, no more hindro. Maybe I have to, uh, maybe we have to do something different for me to hear your voice. I, I can't hear you. What? What'd you say? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear very well. <laughs> but you can hear my voice, I hope. Okay? So, voice is the sound we make when we speak. Okay? We're using our voice. Okay, next one. Whoa, this is an interesting picture. This looks very old, right? Now, if you imagine, this could be like a chain and a gear, right? Kind of looks like your, I hope it doesn't look like your bicycle. That's very old, right? I hope your bicycle looks newer than that. But imagine, if this was working, if this was turning and the chain was moving, it would make a short 
high sound, right? It would go ee ee. Oh, a very terrible sound because it's very old and there's no oil, right? Kidum psyo. There's no oil there, so we would say it's squeaky, squeaky. Try the door on your room. Open the door and close it, or the house on your front door of your house. Does it make a e e sound? Uh, I can't do it very well with my voice, um, but you can hear that. You need to put some oil on the metal so it doesn't squeak. We say it's squeaky. The door is squeaky. My bicycle is squeaky. It means the metal is moving and making that noise because there's no oil there. So if it's squeaky, put some oil there. Okay? Squeaky is a high, a short, high sound. Okay? Also, mice. Mice. If you hear about squeak, squeak, you can hear the mice squeaking also. But don't put oil on the mice. That's crazy, right? Okay. Next one. Um, do you like baseball? Being liked best is your favorite. Maybe baseball is your favorite sport, or maybe you have a favorite player in the sport. But favorite is many different things. We have a favorite food. You might have a favorite song. You might have a favorite character in a movie or a book. I'm sure you have a favorite comic book hero or superhero, right? It's what you like best. Che il choaio, right? It's your favorite, number one. And the last word here is your favorite, uh, is your favorite uh, superhero Spider-Man. Of course, the movie Spider-Man and the book Spider-Man, he is the most important character in the book. He is the main character in the story or the book or the movie. Imagine if you go to see the movie about Spider-Man, Spider-Man is the main character. He's the most important. If he's Opsumyun, right, if he's not there, what's the story about, right? It's not Spider-Man. So he's the most important. He's the main character, okay? Who's the main character in the movie? Who's the most important uh, character in the movie? Okay, those are our words. Let's take a look at the vocabulary exercises. In this case, we must, we must complete each sentence with a word from the box. These are our sentences here. We have eight words, eight sentences. Let's review the words. First is characters. Note it's plural. Character, characters. Everybody, characters. Okay? Next is drawing, and again, it's plural, drawings, drawings, okay? Next one, cartoon, cartoon. The next one, title, title. Next one, success, success. Next one, humor, humor. The next one, entertain, entertain. And the next one, Talent. Talent. These are the words. Let's see how they fit into the sentences. Number one. The singer's new song was a what? So think about it. A singer, let's say Psy, okay, has a new song and it's very popular, right? It's, it, it's uh, very good. It's a very good thing, right? What do we say? It's a success because many people like it. It's very popular. It's a, a, a something that came out. It was good. It's a success, okay? So, the singer's new song was a success. How about number two? The painter's room was filled with a lot of what? The painter's room, a painter, of course, paints. But before the painter paints, the painter will probably make a picture with pencil, you know, or some kind of tool to draw, right? So the painter's room was filled with a lot of drawings. Because painters will usually draw something and then they'll paint it, right? That's usually how painters work. So the painter's room was filled with a lot of drawings. Okay, number three. The animated beep is for children. So the animated, this is very common. We say uh, animated what? Now before I taught you this word, I said you can see it in the books. 
Uh, you can see it in the newspapers, but also you can see it in the movies. It's when the drawings move very fast. We say, you could say animation, or you can say animated cartoon. The animated cartoon is for children. And this is the word we would use for an animated movie or animated TV show, animated cartoon. We also refer to it as animation, right? The industry, the, uh, the field in which people draw and make stories using cartoons. That's animation. Of course, don't say anime, that's Japanese, right? That's kind of like Japlish, you know, Konglish, maybe Japlish is anime, right? So and it comes from animation or animated cartoon. Okay, number four, I can beep children with funny stories. What can this person do? I can do what for children with funny stories? If I tell children funny stories, they are pleased. I am making them happy. So what am I doing? I am entertaining them. I can entertain children with funny stories. You can entertain anybody with a funny story, right? If you tell somebody a funny story and they like it, they are pleased, you are entertaining them. Okay, next one. The beep of the book is Treasure Island. Do you know this book? It's a good book. If you have a chance, read the book. It's a very good story. But this is like the name of the book, right? It's the name of the book. What's another word for name of a book or a movie, a play? We say it's the title. The title of the book is Treasure Island. What's the title of your book? If you're reading a book, what's the title? Okay. Six. The dog is one of the most popular beep in the TV show. Remember, when we learned this word, we saw that it could be a person, it could be an animal, it could be almost anything, really. Anything that moves, acts, says something in a story, a book, a movie. There are many different uh, what in a movie. The dog is one of the most popular characters in the TV show. We use S, even though we're talking about the dog, one, because we say one of the most. One of the most means there's more than one, so we have to use S. The dog is one of the most popular characters in the TV show. It means there are many popular uh, characters in the TV show. The dog is one of those characters, one of the most popular characters in the TV show. Okay, the last two. I want to be a pianist. All right, pianist or pianist. I want to be a pianist because I have beep for music. Now, remember when I said if you're good at something, if you have a natural skill for doing something, what do you have? You have talent. I have a talent for music. Now, notice they say <coughs> a talent for. A talent for. You can say that, but you can also say you have talent. You just say I have talent and just end the store end the sentence there. I have talent or I have a talent for Momo. I have a talent for music. I have a talent for sports. I have a talent for entertaining. Okay? So you could use it both ways. I have talent or I have a talent for something. In this case, we see that. I have a talent for music, so I want to be a pianist when I grow up. Okay, eight. I like movies with good beep because I like to laugh. Good what? You like movies with good because you like to laugh? So what are you looking for that makes you laugh? Ah, it's this word right here, humor. I like movies with good humor because I like to laugh. Of course we like movies with good humor. If it's bad humor, we go, oh, that's stupid, oh, so long, hey, Ooh. right? It's very cold, right? Um, so we like movies with good humor that's very interesting. Good humor, not bad humor, because, oh, check me up, so long, right? So long, hada, right? We say it's not very good. So we want good humor because we like to laugh. Okay, <laughs> that wraps it up for the vocabulary section. Let's take a short break now. We'll come and look at the reading in just a second. 
Okay, let's go over the reading section together. We're talking about Along Came a Mouse. As we know, we're talking about the creator of Mickey Mouse. Let's begin with the reading here. Let's read together. Have you ever heard of Cinderella? What about Donald Duck? If you have, then maybe you know who Walt Disney is. He created many of our favorite characters. One of his characters even looks a lot like him. Can you guess which one? It's Mickey Mouse. Okay, so this beginning of the passage, we're talking about the creator of many characters that we probably know that are very famous, and his name is Walt Disney, right? This reading starts off with, you know, uh, how, like a connection, a personal connection between us and the subject. Of course, the personal connection is what we know. We know who Cinderella is. Have you ever heard of Cinderella? Of course you have. You've probably seen the movie. Maybe you have the book. Maybe you have the doll. You've seen drawings or, or maybe you have stickers on your backpack or you have a pillow with Cinderella on it, right? There's, Cinderella is very famous, right? So have you ever heard of Cinderella? Of course. What about Donald Duck? Have you ever heard of Donald Duck? Yes, you see many pictures, many products with his face and his, his character on them. So these are famous characters, right? If you have, this means have you ever heard of Cinderella or Donald Duck, if you have heard of them, then maybe you know who Walt Disney is. If you know Donald Duck and you know Cinderella, maybe you know who Walt Disney is, he created many of our favorite characters. This means that he created Donald Duck. He didn't really create Cinderella, but he made Cinderella more popular. Cinderella was made a long time ago from a folk tale, but Walt Disney uh, made a movie about Cinderella, a cartoon, an animated cartoon about Cinderella, and so many people came to know Cinderella through Walt Disney's movies, right? So he created many of our favorite characters. That means he invented them. He did invent Donald Duck. He was the original uh, person who thought of the character Donald Duck. Okay, one of his characters, right? Walt Disney made many favorite characters. Oops. <laughs> one of those characters even looks a lot like him. That means one of the characters, one of the characters Walt Disney made looks like him. They look similar. Can you guess which one? Do you know which character it is? It's Mickey Mouse. Okay. Now, Mickey Mouse kind of looks like Walt Disney. That's what they're saying. Maybe when Walt Disney was younger, he kind of looked like Mickey Mouse. I don't think Walt Disney had big ears, right? <laughs> he had the ears here, but of course, maybe the face looks a little bit like Walt Disney. Okay, next slide. Even as a boy, Walt Disney loved to draw. He was a good artist and had a lot of talent. When he was just 16, Disney went to Chicago, Illinois to study art. Six years later, Disney went to California to make cartoons. Okay, so what we can see here is even as a boy. When we use that expression, we are talking about he had this talent when he was young. Of course, we all know Walt Disney later in his life was a very good artist. But what this expression says is that he had that talent even when he was young. He first developed this talent, or he first had this talent when he was a young boy. So even as a boy, he didn't suddenly find this talent when he became an adult. It was a talent that he had when he was young. So even as a boy, Walt Disney loved to draw. So this is what he was doing for most of his life. He was a good artist and he had a lot of talent, right? He's a good artist. He had talent. Remember, everybody has talent in one thing. What is your talent? Or do you have talent as an artist? Do you have talent in drawing? Maybe you do. Of course, it's important to find out what your talent is. What, where do you have talent, okay? 
When he was just 16, Disney went to Chicago, Illinois, to study art. So think about that. 16 years old, he's just a teenager. He's like halfway through high school. And because he had talent for, as an artist, his parents probably said, oh, he's very talented. Let's send him to Chicago, Illinois to study art. The, he wanted to develop, develop his talent. And that's what many people will do, especially if they have good talent. You want to develop your talent. If you're very good at playing music, you have talent at music, you might go to a special school to develop your talent. If you're a good sports player, maybe you go to a special camp uh, to develop your talent in sports. To train, to go to school or to go to a camp, to train your, uh, in your talent or in your area, that's to develop your talent. So Walt Disney went to Chicago, Illinois to a special school to study art to develop his talent when he was 16 years old. Six years later, six years later, so six plus 16, right? 16 plus six equals what? Ah, 22, did you get it? Okay, so six years later, when Walt Disney was 22 years old, he went to California to make cartoons. So when he was a young man, 22 years old, he went to California to make cartoons because he was a good artist. Okay, let's continue. Cartoons are made by putting together thousands of drawings. Thousands of drawings are put together. Each drawing shows a small part of the character's actions. Disney worked hard in his studio to make his first cartoon. He had always liked drawing animals. Okay, so this tells us a little bit about Walt Disney's field, right? He wanted to make cartoons. He went to California to make cartoons. What are cartoons? Especially animated cartoons. They're made by putting together thousands of drawings. Thousands of drawings, right, of the characters are put together. Each drawing shows a small part of the character's actions. So, of course, one drawing might show the person here, right? The next drawing shows, you know, maybe he's doing this, right? So it's, and if you have many drawings like that, you put them together, and you show them very quickly, it looks like the character's moving. I'm not a good artist, right? But Walt Disney was a good artist. He had talent for that, okay? Shows a small part of the character's actions. They have to draw thousands of drawings. So Disney worked hard. He made many drawings. In his studio, to make his first cartoon, he worked really hard. He drew a lot of drawings to make his first cartoon. He had always liked drawing animals. He always liked drawing animals. That was where he had the most interest, okay? So he's very interested in drawing animals. He had a lot of practice doing that. He drew animals since he was a boy. He even had a pet mouse that he sometimes drew. This is where the idea for Mickey Mouse came from. Creating a main character, Mickey Mouse, was a big step forward, but there was still a lot of work to do. Okay, so he, Walt Disney, of course, even had a pet mouse. So before we saw he liked to draw animals. So Walt Disney liked animals. He even had a pet mouse. Maybe you have a pet mouse or a pet hamster or gerbil, right? Uh, he had a pet mouse. And sometimes he would look at the mouse and he would draw the mouse. Now, he sometimes drew the mouse. This, this idea, this that he, what he did, drawing the mouse, this is where the idea for Mickey Mouse came from. So how did Walt Disney get the idea for Mickey Mouse? Because he was drawing his pet mouse. And he's like, ah, this is a good idea. Maybe I can make a character, make my mouse into a character. And that's how he thought of Mickey Mouse the first time. So, creating a main character was a big step forward. 
So until now, Walt Disney was just drawing animals, right? He was just drawing these different animals. He didn't have a main character. So developing a main character, Mickey Mouse, was a big improvement over what he was doing before. It was a big step forward. But there was still a lot of work to do. Even though creating Mickey Mouse was like a big step forward, it was like a good uh, step in the right direction to become you know, famous and to become uh, successful, he still had a lot of other work to do. What was it? Well, let's continue. On November 18, 1928, Walt Disney showed us his first cartoon. The title was Steamboat Willie. In it, a smiling Mickey Mouse has fun getting into trouble. It was a huge success. Okay, so this is a long time ago, 1928. Very long time ago, right? That's when Mickey Mouse first came out to the public. Walt Disney showed us his first cartoon, his very first cartoon, a long time ago. And of course, it was a movie, animated a uh, cartoon, it was a movie. It was a short movie, you know, black and white, but it showed the mouse moving, Mickey Mouse. The title was Steamboat Willie. So Mickey Mouse's first name was Steamboat Willie. Steamboat is a type of boat that uses a steam engine, right, to move in the water. So Mickey Mouse was on this type of boat. That was his nickname in the first movie, Steamboat Willie. In it, in the movie, in this movie called Steamboat Willie, a smiling Mickey Mouse has fun getting into trouble. So, of course, he's a cartoon character. He's getting into trouble. He's smiling. He's having fun. It was a huge success. Many people liked it. They saw this movie, a uh, cartoon movie called Steamboat Willie, and they thought it was fun. They really liked it. It became very popular. Why? The audience thought Mickey Mouse was delightful. They loved his big ears and squeaky voice. They also enjoyed the humor in Steamboat Willie. The story was funny and all of the characters did silly things. This tells us why the movie, Walt Disney's first movie, Steamboat Willie, was such a success, right? Because the audience, the people who saw it, thought Mickey Mouse was delightful, very pleasing. It made them happy. They, right, they referred to the audience, loved his, of course referring to Mickey Mouse, not Walt Disney, <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse had big ears, right? We know the big ears of Mickey Mouse, right? When you draw Mickey Mouse, it's like this, right? If you see that, aha, everybody knows that's Mickey Mouse. Even I'm not a good artist, I can still draw that, right? Because it's very simple, right? They loved his big ears and squeaky voice, right? His voice, right? Very squeaky voice. People liked it. They thought it was funny. They also enjoyed, they of course is again the audience. They also enjoyed the humor in Steamboat Willie. So the situation, the plot, the story of the, uh, of the movie had a lot of good humor in it. It made people laugh, right? The story was funny, and all of the characters, not just Mickey Mouse, but there were other characters in the movie, they all did silly things, and the audience really liked it. They thought it was really funny. Of course, cartoons were kind of a new thing at that time, 1928. Uh, so it was, it was kind of new. People liked it. They enjoyed it, and they thought Mickey Mouse and the other characters were very funny. Okay, today the Disney Studios carry on Walt's work. Many new characters have been created, but Mickey Mouse still entertains us even today. His cute laugh will always put a smile on our faces. Okay, so this is kind of uh, summarizing, right? This is after Walt Disney's success. Today, that means these days, nowadays, right? The Disney Studios, that's how we, most of us know the name Disney, the Disney Studios, the Disney Company, right? When we think of Disney, we think about movies, we think about studios, we think about the amusement parks. We, maybe we don't think about the person, but Walt Disney was the man who started all of this, right? So the Disney Studios carry on. They continue. 
Walt's work, right? Walt Disney's, you know, he's dead now, right? He, he was 22, well, he was old, more than 22 years old when his first cartoon came out. So if he was still alive, he'd be really old, but he's not, he's not alive anymore. However, even though he's dead, his company, Disney Studios, carries on, continues his work. Many new characters have been created. So the Disney Studios keep creating new characters. Even after Walt Disney died, is no longer here, his studio continues to make new characters. However, Mickey Mouse is still here. He's still around, right? He still entertains us, even today. His cute laugh, right? Kiyopji, you know, laugh, hee hee hee, oh, no more kiyopji, right? No more kiyopji, yeah, no, very cute, right? He's a cute laugh, he's a cute face, he's a cute actions. You know, we can use cute to describe many different things. His cute laugh will always put a smile on. Put a smile, make a smile. It will put a smile on our faces, means it will make us smile. When we hear his laugh, <laughs> we like it. It makes us happy. It delights us. So it puts a smile on our faces. It makes us smile. Okay, let's do the reading comprehension questions. Choose the best answer. This story is about, what is this story about? Is this story about Mickey Mouse? Is it about Walt Disney? Is it about drawing? Or is it about Donald Duck? Well, we look at A and B and we kind of scratch your head. Is this story about Mickey Mouse or is it about Walt Disney? Well, the story is telling us the life of the creator of Mickey Mouse. It's not telling us about Mickey Mouse. It's telling us about who created Mickey Mouse. Who did that? It was Walt Disney. So, of course, the answer is Walt Disney. It tells us about his life, right? He was good at drawing as a young boy. He went to a special school at 16. Then he went to California to uh, make cartoons. And it talks about the first creation. It talked about Mickey Mouse, but in the terms of it was Walt Disney's first character, right? It talked about drawing, sure, but that's what Walt Disney did. It also mentioned very briefly Donald Duck as one of the characters, but the main story is about Walt Disney. It's about his life and what he created. So the story is about Walt Disney, that man. Two, Disney went to California to make cartoons when he was, oh, this is difficult. That's a very specific question, right? How old, how old was Disney when he went to California to make cartoons? Was he a boy? No, he wasn't a boy when he went to California, right? It just said that he loved to draw when he was a boy. When he was 16, he went to Chicago to study art, but not to California. When he was 16, he went to Chicago, not California. When he was 22, well, what did the passage say? It said that Walt Disney went to Chicago when he was 16, and six years later, six years later, he went to California to make cartoons. So 16 and 6, do you remember? Yes, we remember. 22. Ah, 22 is C, so that's the answer. Disney went to California to make cartoons when he was 22. When he was done? <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense. When he was finished? Finished with what? It doesn't make sense, right? So when he was 22. Not a boy, not 16, but 22. And of course, you could say 22 years old, but we don't have to say years old. We can just say when he was 22, when he was 16. You can say when he was 16 years old, when he was 22 years old, but we don't have to say that. Okay, next one. Three, Disney got the idea. Got the idea. Where did you get the idea for something? Got the idea for Mickey Mouse from? The passage talked about what did Walt Disney do sometimes, and that gave him the idea for the character Mickey Mouse. What was that? What did Disney do? He got the idea from a mouse he saw in a field? No, it didn't say anything about that. From his pet mouse? Ah, that is right, right? Sometimes he drew his pet mouse, and that gave him the idea for Mickey Mouse. So he got the idea for Mickey Mouse, from drawing his pet mouse, B is the answer. Not from Donald Duck, right? That Donald Duck came later, right? And not from Steamboat Willie, right? First, he had the idea to make Mickey Mouse, 
Then he made the movie Steamboat Willie, right? It's not the other way around. Okay, number four. Beep was the main character in his first cartoon. Remember, it was a big step forward when he made his first main character. Who was that main character? Was it Walt Disney? Was it Donald Duck? Was it Mickey Mouse? Or was it Minnie Mouse? Well, first of all, Walt Disney doesn't make sense. Walt Disney was the main character? So he was his own main character? No, he didn't draw himself in the movies, right? That's not true. Was it Donald Duck? No, Donald Duck came later. He wasn't the main character in the first cartoon. Was it Mickey Mouse? Yes, it was Mickey Mouse with his cute laugh and his big ears and his silly behavior. That was the main character in the first cartoon called Steamboat Willie. Was it Minnie Mouse? Now, you may know Minnie Mouse as Mickey Mouse's girlfriend, but the passage didn't say anything at all about Minnie Mouse. So Mickey Mouse was the main character in his first cartoon. That's the answer. Okay, so let's wrap up. Let's summarize what we've learned so far about Walt Disney. As we saw, Walt Disney created many of our favorite characters, right? We talked about Cinderella and Donald Duck, and of course, Mickey Mouse, his main character in his first movie. We know all of these characters. Some of them are our favorite characters. Oh, we know them when we were young and we fell in love with them and we always remember them. They are some of our favorite characters. Now, Walt Disney was a good artist. He had a lot of talent. So he had a lot of talent as an artist, and he used that talent to become very successful. Remember, you might have some talent. You can uh, develop that talent to become very successful yourself, hopefully, if you find out what your talent is. Disney worked hard in his studio to make his first cartoon. He had to draw thousands of drawings to make his first cartoon. His first cartoon was, of course, Steamboat Willie, and it was a huge success. He even had a pet mouse that he sometimes drew. The pet mouse, of course, was where he got the idea for Mickey Mouse, his main character. Of course, we all remember Mickey Mouse uh, is the most, probably the most famous cartoon character in the world. And of course, Walt Disney started this, uh, uh, these drawings, he started these stories, and even though he's dead now, he's no longer with us, his company, Disney Studios, continues to uh, carry on his work. We can still see Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and all the other characters, and of course, they're making new characters all the time as well. Okay, well that about wraps it up for today. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.